Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that's a numbers matching 68 GTO. Yeah, 400 under the hood, turbo 400. She's numbers matching on the trans also, and she is one beautiful restoration. Now this baby has been on a rotisserie. That's right, the bottom of it is just as nice as the top. You can see this Enduro bumper just looking beautiful, man. And that paint is just as soft and slick as can be. I love the color on this car. You do not have to worry about pulling into a car show and seeing another one that looks just like yours because this is one unique, beautiful car right here. It's got red lines on it. It's got the uh, PMD wheels on it. I mean, that door's fitting nice. That body gap's looking good. The chrome's looking sweet. Just everything about it. And then check out the bucket seats, the wood steering wheel. I mean, everything about this thing just looking absolutely gorgeous. You can see the upholstery on the seats are looking sweet. Sounds like we got the door buzzer going off there. That'll go off when you pull out the key. Isn't she beautiful? We got the great looking headliner there. Let me pull out the key here. Yep, the buzzer goes out when you pull that key out. That quarter panel, straight as can be. She's just looking absolutely beautiful. Love all the chrome, the emblems, just everything looking absolutely beautiful. You can see inside the trunk, looks like we got a little extra carpeting, some touch-up paint in there. Got nice carpeting here. We got the trunk mat here. You can see the nice coating on the wheel well, on the back sides of the corners, all looking good. Bottom side of the deck lid's also looking good. Man, she's beautiful. As you look down the passenger side, she is straight as an arrow. Take a look at this thing, man. She is gorgeous. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this car. So you know we did our homework and checked it out before we bought it. Now we're gonna take it in, put it up on the lift and check it all out so that we can do any repairs that it might need and we can tell you all about the car as soon as you give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. Alright, it's GTO time. Now my 68 GTO story is I was actually racing one of my buddies in a 68 GTO. Actually, I was at my Cougar and we got pulled over for a drag racing ticket. So there's my GTO story, at least his body style. Um, and then uh, we went to court. The judge made us sit there all day. We got there first thing in the morning and then of course she, I'll never forget, she remembered, she told us, uh, so what were you guys doing? We gave her the excuse. She's like, well, you've been sitting here all day. Was it worth it? So she let us off with just the points, no fine. So I don't know if that was good or not, but that's what happened. Now this is one beautiful machine right here, man. I tell you, I'm in absolute love with this car. Now Tom will tell you just how easy it is to park this stream in your driveway. You can call him anytime. Like I said earlier, we're going to get this baby up on the lift, get it inspected, do any repairs that we feel like need to be done. You can call Tom anytime. He's always answering his phone. He'll tell you all about this beauty. Now you can see down here on the dash, everything looks brand new. The chrome looks good. The lenses on the gauges look great. The chrome on the buttons look great. Looks like all the gauges are working, the tack, the speedo. Um, and then these aftermarket uh, 
knobs here. Those are for the air conditioning, but I tell you, that looks like they belong there. Then we got the three pack of gauges under the dash. I like those gauges a lot more than just the idiot lights that they used to put on these back in the day. I mean, you didn't know anything was done wrong until it was really wrong. Tell you, she's sounding sweet too. One thing, the only thing I'd do to this car is put some loud exhaust on it. You guys that know me know I like to make a presence, and I tell you, with this quiet exhaust on it, you're going to sound stock, but you're not going to be able to wake up the neighbors. I like to wake up the neighbors, let them know you're going to a car show nice and early in the morning. Now we're going to head back to the shop where we're going to do something that nobody else does. At Vanguard, at every car goes up on the lift so we can check out the bottom side, and you can see the bottom side and you can make a great decision on your muscle car investment. So stick with us, we're going in the air with this one right now. All right, we're underneath this baby now, and like I told you, man, you just do not see this style GTO done to this level on the bottom. None of the 68, 69, 70s. I mean, guys just don't do them. And I tell you, she is beautiful. You can see the tank is new, the exhaust is new. The frame is nicely painted. All the body bushings are all new. The rear end housing is a 10 bolt. Uh, it's right around the 340 gear in there. It is a uh, limited slip rear end. You can see the shocks are new. You see the brake kit, uh, lines are new. Um, now on the brakes, the guys pull those completely apart, make sure they're all installed correctly. I see the bushings on the lower control arms are new. Upper control arms are new. It's got the extra braces in there. There's those quiet mufflers I was telling you about. I'd put some loud ones on there, but that's up to you. And if you want us to put loud ones on there, I'll put loud ones on there for you. We've got um, new brake line and uh, fuel line going front to back. New parking brake cable here. You see the floorboards are all cleaned up. It looks like it's got like a real light uh, bed liner type material on there. Cross member for the trans is all done up looking good. Turbo 400 is numbers matching. It's got a high torque starter on it. We already talked about the 400 being numbers matching. We got a new brake line going left to right. These ball joints look like they're new. Uh, the calipers look like they're new. The upper ball joints look new. The bushings in the sway bar look new. The uh, lower control arm bushings also look new. You see a pattern starting to uh, come here. Everything looks new under here. The bushings here on the frame for the sway bar look new. These um, body bushings up here on the nose also look good. That actually holds the, core, uh, the whole core support on. Uh, you can see the paint looking sweet right here. I love that color also. And then we got these good looking red line tires. Now these babies may look like polyglass tires, but these are actually radials that look like polyglass. And if I can find it here, they normally say radial on them. Uh, they're probably from Coker. It says tubeless, says Firestone. Down. Ah, right there. 7015 radials, baby. Looking good. And the wheels, the trim rings, the center caps, all looking new. Now, also a spot you always want to look at, if you can get a finger up in there behind the front fender, um, back side of that, I don't feel anything but smooth metal there. Gonna work your finger out of there without ripping the skin off. Bottom side of the rocker looks good. The pinch weld looks good. The back side's nice and smooth. Uh, out back, we got the exact same size tire, same kind of tire. It says radial right there, baby. Well, let's lower this thing down and look under the hood. All right, under the hood here, 400 cubic inches Pontiac power, and it is numbers matching. It does have Edelbrock heads on it. It's got an Edelbrock intake. It's got a 750 Holley. Uh, that baby is a four barrel, of course. It's got an electric choke. Looks like it's a single pumper, vacuum secondaries. I mean, it is looking sweet. You can see the uh, aftermarket AC pump here that we talked about earlier. They did a nice, neat job with all the wiring and all the hoses and everything. This is an electronic controller here that shuts off the uh, heater core when you're running the AC. Uh, the firewall's nicely painted. The whole front area here is all nicely painted. You guys that know GTOs, normally this doesn't look this nice. I mean, somebody spent a lot of time cleaning all this stuff up and getting it painted. Bottom side of the hood's painted chassis black. I mean, it's got the correct radiator hoses on it. It does have manual brakes on it. And the car does have power steering. It's got an Optima battery in there. I mean, everything under the hood's looking sweet, guys. Um, 
She looks absolutely gorgeous. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your drive.